Hi, I'm Stevie. This video is a shortened demonstration of a vinyasa flow that we teach here at Casa Quadro. It's inspired by a flow we learnt 10 years ago with Pantrix, and it also includes some movement and variations that we've discovered over the years through our own experiences and with other teachers. For the purpose of keeping the video short, we've reduced the number of breath cycles. Jesse will be leading, and I'll be doing some variations using some blocks, straps, rubs, etc. Just remember to always harmonize the movement to the breath, okay, and listen to your body. So allow some creativity while being disciplined, and we encourage you to spend some more time in the postures that you feel necessary. Um, but most importantly, enjoy. Standing in Tadasana, focus on a deep, even and relaxed breath. Inhale, palms to prayer. And exhale, relax the arms. Inhale, the arms straight up, slightly bending backwards. Exhale, fold forward at the hips. Inhale, step the right foot back, arms raised above the head. And exhale, palms to mat, step the left foot back, downward dog. Lower the knees, chin, chest, inhale, upward dog. And exhale, lift the hips, downward dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, raise the arms overhead. And exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, stand up straight, slightly bending backwards. And exhale, relax the arms. Inhale, palms to prayer, and exhale, relax the arms. Inhale, arms up overhead, slightly bending backwards, and exhale, fold at the hips. Inhale, step the left foot back, raise the arms overhead, and exhale, palms to mat, downward dog. Lower knees, chin, chest, scoop forward, upward dog. And exhale, lift the hips, downward dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, raise the arms overhead. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, standing up straight, arms overhead, slightly bending backwards and exhale, relax the arms. Inhale, palms to prayer. Exhale, relax. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, fold forward at the hips. Hold the posture, deep, even, relaxed breath. Inhale, straight back, arms up. And exhale, step the feet hip width apart. Place the hands on the hips, firm the belly, lift the chest. You can keep the gaze forward or you can tilt the head backwards. And inhale up. Take a wide step to the right. Arms straight up and exhale, fold forward at the hips, placing the hands on the floor. Lengthen the spine, firm the feet, engage the legs, lift the hips. And exhale, walk the hands to the right foot. Hold the posture and breathe. Inhale, walk the hands to centre, lengthen the spine. And exhale, walk the hands towards the left foot. Again, holding the posture and breathing. Inhale, hands to centre, lengthen the spine. And 
and then we'll inhale the arms straight up. Exhale, arms down, turn the right foot out. Inhale the arms back up to shoulder height. And exhale, reach to the right, down into triangle posture. Take your variation. Be mindful not to hyperextend the right knee and place some weight into the left leg. Inhale up, turn the right foot in and the left foot out. Exhale, reach out to the left. Gaze up at the right arm. Inhale up, turn the left foot in, right foot forward, put the hands into reverse prayer or your variation, square the hips up and fold forward. Try and bring the left hip forward and the right hip back. And we'll inhale up and we'll pivot to the opposite side. Square the hips up and fold forward. Deep, even, relaxed breath. And we'll inhale up, extend the arms and we'll flow into revolved triangle now, placing the left hand down next to the right foot. Gazing up at the right hand. Use your variation here. Inhale up and flow over to the other side, placing the right hand next to the left foot. Gazing up at the left hand. And we'll inhale up. And we'll exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale the arms up, bend the knees, and exhale down. And we'll flow through this energizing chair a few times. And we'll exhale, palms to prayer. Take the weight onto the left foot. And into warrior three balance and then drop the right foot back inhale the arms up into crescent lunge hold the posture breathe then drop the right heel and we'll exhale into warrior two gazing over the left hand And on the inhale, we'll come into reverse warrior, left hand overhead, right hand relaxed on the right leg. And we'll exhale the left elbow to the left thigh, bringing the right hand overhead, extended side angle posture. And we'll inhale back up into warrior two. And take a little step forward here. Find your balance, half moon posture. Use a prop if necessary. Try and stack the right hip over the left hip. And slowly bring the palm and the feet together. And we'll go through the energetic chair flow once again. Inhale up, exhale down. At your own pace. 
gather the energy and then bring the palms to the chest. Taking the weight onto the right foot this time, lift up into warrior three and slowly take the left foot down into crescent lunge, inhale the arms up. Breathe. And we'll drop the left heel to the mat, open up into warrior two, gazing over the right hand. And on the next inhale, we'll open up into reverse warrior, right arm overhead, the left arm relaxed on the left leg. And exhale forward into side angle posture. Right elbow to right thigh and the left arm overhead this time. And we'll inhale back up into warrior two. Find your balance, take a little step forward if you need to. Place your hand on the hip up into half moon posture. Stacking a left hip over the right this time. And bring both palms and the feet to the mat. Inhale the arms up, keep the knees bent. Uttakasana. And we'll stand up straight, bring the palms to the chest and relax the arms. Take the weight onto the left foot. Bring the right foot up onto the inside of the left thigh. Inhale the palms together and raise the arms overhead. Tree posture. Find the balance and breathe. Exhale the arms down and release. And the other side, find the weight on the right foot, bring the left foot up onto the inside of the right thigh. Inhale the palms together, raise the arms. Focus and breathe. And exhale, release. Take the weight onto the left foot, bring the right knee on the outside of the left foot. Place the left arm behind you for support. Inhale the right arm up and exhale, twist to the left, looking over the left shoulder. Find your variation and breathe. Inhale as we release and change the legs. Place the right hand behind you for support. Inhale the left arm up and exhale, twist to the right, looking over the right shoulder. Lengthen the spine, sitting upright. Inhale as we release, and then we'll come up onto the knees, sitting in thunderbolt posture, sitting on the heels, place the palms on the thighs, inhale the arms straight up overhead, keeping a straight back, exhale down, fold at the hips, place the palms and the forehead on the mat, relax, child's posture. Relax the arms. And straight back, inhale the arms up. And then we'll exhale, grip the heels and place the crown on the mat in front of the knees. Lift the hips 
and arch the back. Exhale, sitting back down on the heels and inhale the arms up. And then we'll just take a little wider stance here into wide child. Walk the hands forward. Place the chin or the forehead on the mat. Use your variation here. back, bring the knees together and come onto all fours here, stack the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees and then we'll extend the right arm forward and the left leg back and then we'll bring the right elbow and the left knee together, follow your breath here, inhale extension, exhale together, inhale extension and hold the posture. And then exhale back to neutral table. And onto the other side now, extend the left arm, the right leg. Go through the flow at your own pace, bringing the knee and the elbow together on the exhale. Hold the posture and breathe. And exhale back into neutral table. Tuck the toes and come up into plank position. Press the feet and the hands into the mat. Engage the arms, legs, tuck the tailbone, belly towards the spine and round the upper back. And then on the inhale, we'll step the right foot forward next to the right hand. Hold the posture and breathe. And then take the left knee to the mat, inhale the arms up. Then exhale, straighten the right leg, fold forward. And we'll go through this flow a couple of times. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, straighten the right knee, fold forward. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale the arms up and take both palms to the mat, lift the left knee and then step the right foot back into plank position. And then we'll continue with the other side, step the left foot forward and we'll just hold the posture here. and drop the right knee and we'll inhale, inhale the arms up and then exhale through the flow again at your own pace. Choose your variation here. If the half splits isn't for you, then just hold the lunge. And we'll inhale the arms up and exhale both palms to the mat, lift the right knee, hold momentarily here and you can either go back into plank or you can step forward into squatting position. Use a rug or a prop if you need to lift the heels up and bring the palms to the chest Squeezing the knees into the elbows and the elbows back into the knees. Lengthen the spine on an inhale. And try and relax as much as possible. From here, come into a balancing posture. So bring the palms in front of you, place the knees on the triceps, 
bring the weight forward, hold and breathe. Use a variation here if you need to, just by raising one foot at a time and then resting. And come back into squatting position. And then we'll sit down in Dandasana. Sitting upright with the legs extended in front of you, palms on the mat. Lengthen the spine with each inhalation. Focus on a deep, even and relaxed breath and inhale the arms up and exhale, fold forward at the hips. Use your variation Keep a slight bend in the knees if you need to and try and bring the head towards the knees as much as possible. And inhale the arms up and exhale the arms down. Fold the right leg so the right foot is on the inside of the left thigh and inhale the arms up. Bending at the hips, exhale forward, palms to mat, or you can grab a hold of the left foot. Use a strap if necessary and keep the spine straight. Deep, even, relaxed breath. And we'll inhale the arms up and change legs. Straighten the right leg. Bend the left leg, placing the left foot on the inside of the right thigh. And inhale the arms up. And exhale, fold forward and relax. Try and keep the shoulders at equal height. Feeling a stretch in the hip joints. Inhale the arms up. And we'll bend the right leg, come into bound angle posture, Baddha Konasana. Use your variation here, it's important to keep spine lifted and upright to start with. Grab hold of the feet and whatever your variation is here, you can stay upright or you can fold forward, either keeping hold of the feet or relaxing the arms. Wherever you're at with this posture, remember to breathe. And inhale the arms up. And what we'll do is we'll exhale into half boat posture. Again, find your variation here. Keep the spine nice and straight and lower down. Holding the posture once again. Remember to breathe and then exhale, relax. Deep, even, relaxed breath. Slowly come up and we'll now lay on the front side of the body. Arms out at 45 degrees, palms facing down. Relax the feet. Heels outwards, toes pointed in. And we'll exhale the feet together into some locust postures. Inhale the right foot up, keeping the left hip on the mat. Hold the posture and breathe. And exhale the right foot down. On the other side, inhale the left foot up, keeping the right hip on the mat. And 
and exhale the left foot down and relax and we'll come into another variation locust posture here you can interlock the hands behind the back lift the chest and the feet off the ground pressing the belly into the mat lifting up as much as possible and then exhale release Bring the feet together, palms next to the chest, and lift the chest up and forward, gazing up, and hover the hands off the mat. If this is too strong for you, you can keep the palms on the mat, and just don't lift up as high. Important to keep the heels together to protect the back here. And then exhale down, and rest. come into our bow posture now grab the ankles and lift the chest and the legs up if this is too strong for you come into sphinx posture you can separate the feet hip width apart and balance on the elbows slight gaze upwards if you're in bow posture relax Come back down onto the mat. And to release out of these backward bends, we'll slide back into child's posture. Relax the arms. And we'll come back onto our back now. Laying down. And set yourself up for fish posture. So bring the arms either underneath or by your sides. Lift the chest and place the head on the mat looking back use a prop if you need to open the heart and relax the hands and exhale release And we'll bend the knees, set ourselves up for bridge posture variation. Bring the heels towards the hips. Roll the shoulders underneath and lift the hips up. Use a prop if you need to. Keeping the knees stacked over the ankles. Pressing the shoulders and the hands into the mat. And exhale slowly, roll the spine down and lengthen the legs. Deep, even, relaxed breath. Next we'll do shoulder stand, so set yourself up for your variation. This might mean a couple of blankets underneath the shoulders. Otherwise, bring the feet together and we'll inhale, lift the legs, raise the hips, place the hands on the lower back and extend the legs up as far as possible. If at any point in time you feel too much discomfort in this, then slowly come back down. 
Breathing can feel restricted in some inversions, but remember just to try and encourage a deep and even breath. From the shoulder stand, come into plow position. So drop the feet behind the head and lift the hips and try and straighten the back as much as possible here. You can have the palms on the mat or you can interlock the fingers. And then we'll do knee to ear posture. So from Halasana, bend the knees, place the knees next to the ears as comfortable as possible. Come back up into Halasana. And on the exhale, slowly roll the spine down with straight legs. If this is too strong for you, then bend the knees. Take this movement nice and slowly, rolling the spine out. Once we get into Shavasana, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Arms at 45 degrees, open the palms and relax. Focus on the breath, the rise and the fall of the belly. Give thanks to yourself for devoting the time to practice. And enjoy the relaxation. Start with the toes, the feet, the legs, and work all the way up to the head. Just check in with every body part. Ask yourself, my toes and feet relaxed? My legs relaxed? Are my hips relaxed? Continue on up through the belly, the spine, the chest. My arms relaxed. My shoulders. Bring the attention to the neck, the face, and the head, the eyes, the forehead. Completely melt into the mat, complete relaxation. Slowly turn over to the right side. You can add a few other little stretches in here. Do whatever feels right to your body. This might mean a little spinal twist. We hope you enjoy this little demonstration of the vinyasa that we taught at Casa Quadro. Namaste.